Now, guys, unfortunately, I failed my training. Uh, because what I, I can't do on this analog stick is move it to the left. I have troubles with that. I can't move it to the left. That's where I failed on the training, was moving it to the left. Every time I tried to do that, it went down the middle. So that's, I think that's what the problems I'm having during the games, too. So I guess that's probably what I should work on, just moving the analog stick to the left. And yes, I'm back on the bullpen again. Josh Hamilton start things out for the Rangers in their half of the Huh. Well, I guess I'm glad I declined their triple-A offer. I think he's loose. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Uh, of course I'm going against Josh Hamilton. And he lays off again, ball three. Huh, they're always like, like an guys, inch the off. The further ahead in the county gets, the more dangerous he becomes. He'll lock in in a zone now and hurt you. I try to go down the middle. On a gift of a swing there. And then I three and two now. pretty they much make it go to the left. Coming right after this guy. They've made him have to swing the bat. And the Velos will right. go on to first, and there's one gone. Got their big hitter out. But here's another one. Now, here's Nelson Cruz. Righty against righty as this is taken for Always a little bit the outside the box. Seven runs, 11 hits. And no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. 98. One one. You want to talk about a live arm? This guy's got one all right. Oh, had oh thank you. That, time and that was a present two. for me. And he's just throwing darts now. They have not been able to pick him up. Wow, that sucks. Of course, I made it go down the middle again. Way into center field for a one-out hit. As a hitting coach, that's what you want your hitters to do. Dang, David Murphy's doing really good. Oh come on! It always goes a little bit out the box. Picks up a solid one-out single. And he turns beautifully wow, he killed me. This is pulled into right for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And, his and Adrian Beltre. Yeah. And in fact, he's now just a triple shy of hitting for the cycle. Adrian Beltre is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Yeah. A, a great sell job behind the plate, too. He sort of gently moved that glove back over an inch or two as he was catching that baseball. Yeah, thank you, a Adrian Beltre, for swinging. Locked him up, and he's down on strikes. <laughs> oh my God, Ian Kensler. Smart idea. Don't feel like hitting, facing another good hitter. What the heck? And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. All right. I don't know who this dude is, so maybe I might have a chance. First pitch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. <laughs> He's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? And he comes back with a fastball, 1-2 and two now. Well, he created his own jam. Now he's trying to get out of it. Fouled straight back. Bases are loaded here. Two down. He'll try again. One, two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Now a big pitch here. He wouldn't want to go to three and two, I wouldn't think. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Yeah, thank you. Strike three thank you. I got out of that jam. Three at that Thanks to the umpire. Single one of those runners across. So after the three spot last time. Oh around, yeah, it's the end of the game. Whoa! Oh yeah. Just about wrap things up. Did I win? No, I didn't. Brandon Webb. 
crushed us.